What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. Now this week we have six tweaks lined up, and they're all extremely simple tweaks, which I'm actually a huge fan of. There's not a lot of configuration, not a lot of settings that you have to set up or anything like that. Basically, once you install it, you can maybe change one or two things, and then they just work. And I'm really a big fan of that just because it really fits in with the feel of iOS. So let's go ahead and get started with these six tweaks, and we'll take a deeper look into each one of them. So first up, we have a tweak called Daughter. Now what Daughter does is you can see right here we have these dots right next to these applications, right next to their icon labels. Now usually what this means is that we've installed a brand new application and this is saying that it's newly installed, it's a new application, go ahead and open it up. And once you open it up that dot's gone. Well we've actually changed the use case for that dot. So what these dots mean now is that these applications are running in the background. So you can always tell what apps are running in the background. So you'll notice that we have settings, Tweetbot, we have messages up here. If we swipe over, you'll notice that we have Alien Blue as well as Steam. So if we open up YouTube, you'll see that it didn't have a dot before, but now it's running in the background, so now we have a dot. So if I go ahead and open up the app switcher and we close out of YouTube, you'll notice that that dot is gone. So that's basically all that this tweet does. It tells you what applications are running in the background. Now you can actually change that, or what it means, right here. So you can change that to a badge replacement as well if you want to do that. So if we go back here, you'll notice that I have four uh, notifications right here on Tweetbot but if I go over here and turn on badge replacement and we go back you'll notice that I don't have a badge notification anymore it's only showing that dot indicator meaning that I have notifications in this application now the only place that it doesn't work is right here within the folders you'll notice that it has the badge notification right there on the folder icon itself but when we open up the folder you're not going to see any notifications in here so you can see how that works right there so this brings me into the next tweak, which is Folder 6 Plus. And you can see what that does, it gives you a 4x4 folder layout, even in the preview right here. And when we open it up, you can see that we have 4x4. So it's going to give you 16 icons per page in your folder. And I think that just looks really nice. There was another tweak that does this exact same thing, except it didn't look good if you had the icon labels, because it would overlap. You had to actually disable the icon labels in order for it to look good so this is definitely a step up in my opinion folder 6 plus allowing you to put 16 icons right there within the folder as well as showing you in that preview right there for this next week if you guys use iTunes radio a lot then you definitely want to check out this tweak called never gonna buy if you're never gonna buy a song off of iTunes radio you can see right here if we open up the music app and we're in iTunes radio if we start to play some music you'll notice that we don't have that buy for a dollar twenty nine or buy for ninety nine cents or whatever just because we have this tweak installed so basically it removes that ability to purchase right here in the top right hand corner so if you're never gonna buy music from iTunes radio then you might want to install this It just looks a little bit cleaner and it gets rid of that price tag right up there in the top right hand corner that's all that this tweak does very simple no settings to configure next up we have a tweak called transparent volume 8 so you can see right here that this can be extremely annoying. I'm surprised that they didn't change this in iOS 8 because so many people complained about it. But you can see how obtrusive that this little volume HUD can be when you're watching a video or whatever you're doing. So if we go into our settings here and we tap on transparent volume 8, you can see that you can actually change the opacity value. So if you want it to be a little more transparent or a lot more transparent, then you can just move the slider down and it's going to do just that. So let's go ahead and go to the springboard here. Sometimes it can take a little while for it to take effect. You don't have to respring or anything like that. But let's go ahead and hit this. And you can see that it's extremely, extremely faint, which is definitely a huge plus if you use this while you're watching videos or even when you're on the springboard. It's just annoying to have that massive block there for so long without it dismissing itself very quickly. So check out Transparent Volume 8. It's another free tweak that you can grab in Cydia right now. Next up, we have a tweak called UI Rotation 8. And in my opinion, this is a very awesome tweak and a must have for me just because I am a huge fan of keeping my device portrait locked. Just because every time I put my phone in my pocket, I always put the bottom up. So when I put it in my pocket, it's sitting in my jeans like this. Now when I pull my phone out of my pocket, I always have to wait for it to reorient itself if I don't have portrait mode locked. So what this tweak does is give you the ability to change the UI rotation by using an activator gesture. So you can see right here that I'm actually locked in portrait mode right here. So you'll see that I can't use uh, landscape mode right here on the springboard. But since I set this to an activator gesture, all I have to do is triple tap on the home button. So one, two, three, and you'll see that it changes 
into landscape mode. And it stays in landscape mode until I use that activator gesture again. So one, two, three, then you can see that it changes. Now the reason that I like this tweak is because one, I always keep my phone portrait mode locked. And if I want to watch videos on YouTube or anything like that, then I have to pull up the control center, then turn off portrait lock, and then allow it to you know fix itself. And then once I'm done watching the video, then I have to put it back into portrait lock. Well, it's a whole lot easier to use an activator gesture just to put it into portrait mode or landscape mode very easily just like that. Now we do have some settings here, so if we wanna go into the settings and open that up, you can see this is also going to work in any application just like that. So let's go ahead and go back here and we're gonna go back and we're gonna go into UI rotation, open that up and you'll notice that we have activator settings. So this is where you're gonna set your activator gesture to activate UI rotation. Now right down here is where you're gonna select enable. So you obviously have an enable switch to turn this tweak on as well as a toggle for keeping the rotate. So right down here we have full rotation mode so you can toggle that on as well. You can have upside down if you wanna do that and you also have disabled applications. So this is not going to work in specific applications if you wanna to toggle that on. So basically just like blacklisting an app. So I don't really use upside down, not a huge fan of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that. But once you set the activator gesture, then all you have to do is use that gesture and you can see that it's going to automatically flip that orientation. Now you'll notice when I close out of the app just by hitting the home button, it's going to keep that orientation just because I have keep rotate enabled. Now if I go back into the settings here and we'll put keep rotate off, we're gonna turn that off. So now when I close out of this, it should go ahead and flip back to portrait mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out just by hitting the home button and then you can see it flips back to portrait mode. So that's what keep rotate does. Now very quickly if we go into the settings and we go to our activator settings, and we tap on anywhere. You can see if we just tap on something here and we're going to set uh, our UI rotation to one of these gestures, you'll notice that we have four options. So you could obviously have portrait mode, you have landscape left, landscape right, and upside down. So you can have a different activator gesture for all four of these orientations. So just keep that in mind. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that you have to have your device in portrait mode or portrait locked in order for this to work. If you don't have it locked, then it's not going to work. And that can be pretty frustrating if you don't know that little tidbit. So make sure that you put this in portrait lock and then it's going to work, as you can see right there. And last but not least, we have a tweak called lock speed. Now, if you guys remember my review of faces, which is a tweak that allows you to put pictures or actual faces right there on your passcode buttons, then you might remember me saying that I thought it would be really cool if you would be able to tap on that person's face and call them directly from the lock screen. Well, developer of lock speed, Alex Loris, I believe I'm saying your last name right, actually did just that. So this is a really cool tweak. You can see if we go to our lock screen and we swipe to the left, you'll notice that we have nine contacts right here. And if we tap on one of these contact faces, it actually calls that person. So let's just say we're gonna call Barack Obama if we tap on that, then it's gonna start calling that person. Now the way you actually get these contacts in this list is they are pulled directly from your favorite contacts. So the first nine favorites that you have in your contacts list, that's who's gonna be on this page. So I've gone ahead and added all of these. If you don't have a picture of that person saved with that contact, then obviously it's just gonna give their initials right here. Now a nice little tidbit about this tweak is it doesn't make you swipe twice to get over to the passcode screen. It actually skips that lock screen and goes directly over. So you only have to swipe once and then you're right here at the passcode screen. So that's just a nice touch that Alex put in there. So just to show you guys, if we go ahead and unlock and we go to my phone and we go to my favorites, you can see that I have nine contacts right here and they're all available to call directly from the lock screen using lock speed. So definitely check out this tweak if it's something you wanna try out. All right, guys, that's all I have for this week. Let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.